Welcome back to part 3 of our React Stock Dashboard. In this part, we'll be able to start building the user interfaces. In particular, we'll start by building our grid dashboard layout. CSS Grid is a very useful technique for creating 2D layouts, defined by columns and rows. It also allows us to specify how many rows or columns are occupied by children in that grid. Let's take an example on the left here. We have five rows and three columns. The components that will occupy this grid include the header, the chart, the overview, and the details. Each component will occupy a different amount of space. For instance, the chart will occupy four rows by two columns. We'll also have a different grid layout for large, medium, and small screens. That way it makes it a bit more responsive. So let's start coding. I'll make a components folder. Inside here, I'll create a card component, card.js. And this will be used as a container component. So as a prop, we'll make it take a special children prop. And this can be used to use our children directly in the output like this. Next, I'll apply some styling to this card using Tailwind CSS. Let's give it a class name. I'll give it W full. So this will take the full 100% width of the parent. H full. So it has 100% of the height of the parent. Next, we'll make it rounded MD. So this will give it a border radius. I'll make it a relative positioning. Next, some padding, P8, and lastly, some border width with a background of gray. Now that this is complete, we'll move on to our dashboard. I'll call this dashboard.js. And make sure to import the card that we just created. And before we move on to our dashboard and create our grid, there's just one little thing we'll add to our tailwind.config.js. We'll extend the theme to add some template rows when we're creating our grid. So we'll do this for seven and eight so that this will create seven equally sized rows or eight equally sized rows. And the only reason we need to do this is because Tailwind CSS uh, template rows only go up to six. So that's why we extend it to include seven and eight, which we'll use in our specific scenario. Let's go back to our dashboard once this is complete. We'll start applying some styling to the dashboard. Let's start by giving it H screen so that it occupies the entire height of the screen. Next, we'll start with the grid. We'll play grid. By default, we'll give it grid columns one. On medium screens, we'll give it grid columns two. And on extra large screens, we'll give it three columns. So grid columns three. Now let's move on to adding the rows. So by default, we'll give it eight rows, grid rows eight. Then on medium screens, we'll reduce this to seven. So these are the new uh, template rows that we just added earlier to our tailwind.config.js. And lastly, on extra large screens, we'll give it five rows. So grid rows, Five. We'll also add auto rows fr, and this will ensure that new rows that are added are all equally sized. 
Next, we'll add a gap of six. So there's a there's a space between each item in the grid and some padding P10. And lastly, we'll apply the font quicksand. And remember, this is the Google font that we added in earlier. So now we can continue by adding some children into this dashboard. So we have a header, a chart, an overview, and a details. For each one of these, we can wrap this in the card container we made. So as we said, we have a header, a chart, an overview, and a details. For now, we'll just leave it as text. Let's start styling the containers so that it occupies a certain amount of space. For the header, we'll make it take a column span of one by default. On medium screens, a column span of two. And on the extra large screens, we'll make it have a column span of three. And for the row, we'll always make it occupy one row only. Let's move on to the chart. On medium screens, we'll make this chart have a column span of two and a row span of four. For the overview, we don't need to apply any styles because we only wanted to have one column and one row by default. And lastly, the details. We'll give this a row span of two. And on extra large screens, we'll get a row span of three. So now that we created the card in the dashboard, let's actually include it in the app.js. I'll remove everything here and replace this with the dashboard. Remember to import that. And we could remove this other import. So there we go. And I'll also clear out all the app.css, which we don't need right now. So now that we've included the dashboard in our app.js, let's see what it looks like. So there we go, we've created a grid dashboard. Let's inspect and see how it looks on different screen sizes. So as expected, on a small screen, we have eight rows with one column. Let's increase this to a medium sized screen. And there we go, we see it changes and it's responsive. On the medium sized screen, we have seven rows with two columns. This is as we wrote in the code. Let's increase this to an extra large screen. And again, this is responsive as we expected. In this case, we have five rows with three columns. I hope you enjoyed creating this grid dashboard. In the next video, we'll create some more interesting components. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.